Contracting parties sometimes exchange written instruments with differing terms while forming their contract. This is referred to as the Battle of the Forms. In VLM Food Trading International versus Illinois Trading, we explore how the United Nations Convention on Contracts for the International Sale of Goods determines what terms become part of the contract if there's a battle of the forms. VLM Food Trading International was a Canadian agricultural supplier. Illinois Trading was a United States produce reseller. Illinois Trading bought frozen potatoes from VLM in multiple separate transactions. Each time, Illinois Trading sent a purchase order to VLM specifying the quantity, price, and delivery place, and VLM responded with a confirming email. VLM then shipped the potatoes to Illinois Trading, which in turn accepted them. Finally, VLM mailed an invoice to Illinois Trading. The trailing invoices contained a provision obligating Illinois Trading to pay VLM's attorney's fees in the event that Illinois Trading breached the party's agreements. Illinois Trading paid the first nine invoices, but failed to pay the next nine. Accordingly, VLM sued Illinois Trading in federal district court for breach of contract, seeking payment and attorney's fees. The district court originally found that the Uniform Commercial Code, or UCC, governed the party's agreements and that the fee provision in VLM's trailing invoices was part of their contracts. The Seventh Circuit reversed and held that the United Nations Convention on Contracts for the International Sale of Goods, rather than the UCC, governed the party's agreements. On remand, the district court found that, under the convention, the fee provision wasn't part of the party's contracts. VLM appealed to the Seventh Circuit.